Hello there, you guys. Okay, so this is gonna be different than my usual unboxings, and this is going to be an unboxing and a demo together, and hopefully it's gonna turn out good. I'm excited about it. Um, after much, much anticipation, I have finally received my jelly bombs from the UK Lush site. Um, I don't know why, it seems like I'm the last person in the world to have received mine. It seems like I've been seeing demos everywhere on YouTube and Instagram. Um, but yes, I have finally received mine and I just cannot wait like one minute to open the box or do my demo. So what I'm gonna try and do, and this could be a disaster, I don't know, we're gonna see. Um, I'm gonna try and do my unboxing for you guys because it's pretty much all that I got, and my demo at the same time, so it could be kind of rough, but um, I'm hoping that it'll be pretty cool. So, um, you know, I'm obviously not on a tripod here, so I'm gonna try and do all this with one hand, and I'm not sure about this lighting either, but anyway, we're gonna go ahead and try and do this thing here. Okay, so. and watch all these little things just maybe we'll have a demo of all my little peanuts going in my bathtub okay so I can already tell that this is going to be the green coconut Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah that looks pretty cool let me smell it I can smell the coconut. Now this is supposed to be um, coconut and cinnamon leaf oil. It's not super, super sweet or super coconutty. So if you don't like coconut, I don't think that this is gonna bother you at all. And it's not, yeah, it's not super sweet. Okay, so there is that one. And I think I just got, I think I just got one of each. Okay, next we have I was able to get a rocket science. That's pretty cool. I'm looking at this through my viewfinder, so I can't really see it that much in person. It looks pretty cool though. And this one is scented in bergamot and lemon. Let me sniff it real quick. Oh, that smells like something that I've smelled before. I can't, can't put my finger on it, but that to me smells like another Lush Balm. But that smells pretty good. I like that one. And this must be the big sleep. Yes, there's the moon. Let me give it a sniff. Okay, so this one is lavender, neroli, tonka, and chamomile. Now, I'm probably the only person that is not familiar um, with chamomile scent, but that might be that might be what I'm smelling the most in here. Um, I think maybe a lot of people are expecting this to smell a lot like Twilight, and I know that it's um, not as sweet, or it wasn't supposed to be as sweet, and it's just, it's really not. So, um, I'm not, don't know that I'm crazy about this one. I think I like the coconut one better so far. Okay. And then, the one I think everybody is the most interested in would be the Dark Arts, which is the last one in my box. I'm going to try not to spill these everywhere. And I can already see the glitter in this one. Pretty cool looking. Okay, so this one is scented in almond oil, Brazilian orange oil, and cinnamon leaf oil. That one smells pretty good. This one was one I wasn't sure about that I might like the scent of. Okay, so 
there we have all my jelly bombs. Finally. Okay, so um, let me get all this stuff off my little bench and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back guys with my jelly bombs. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do and I hope you guys are going to like this. Okay, so I've mentioned a time or two before that I wasn't so keen or excited about the whole jelly bomb idea. Um, <laughs> funny thing is that in the beginning I thought um, that there was actually going to be like a shower jelly coated in bath bomb and that was before, no fault of my own, that was before um, Lush came out and did their live video and said that it was going to be, you know, like seaweed um, kind of texture on top of the water and all that. We really didn't know exactly what these were going to be. So, um, now that we know, um, and I have seen a bunch of demos, now I know <laughs> that um, this one kind of looks like, you know, I've heard and um, seen that people have said maybe an oil spill, um, a tar pit. Um, these kind of look like somebody have sneezed, um, kind of looks like slime. So I'm not really sure how I feel about them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do them all at once. Um, yeah, you know, why not? Um, you know, I like to do things maybe a little differently than some people and I'm not just so excited to bathe in all of them separately. I think the scents, you know, may not be all bad together because a couple of them have the cinnamon leaf oil and, you know, they're all a little bit sweet. So I think that they may could be in the same family enough to where I want to see what this jelly thing is all about. My tub is kind of large, so I want to see... Let's just get the maximum jelly effect. Okay, I've talked long enough, so let's just go ahead and do it. I mean, let's go for broke, go big or go home, whatever. Okay, so let's just do it. Um, okay, let's, let's just do him first. Let's do the dark arts first. This could just be a horrible, horrible mess. Or it could be cool. We'll see, won't we? We will see. We get a little closer to this one. Very, very interesting for sure. Bubbling tar. I think that's the right on the money description. He's definitely moving the most. The big sleep kind of fell asleep. Not moving at all. Definitely, definitely pretty colors. Just not moving at all. Seeing some pinkish purple come out of that one. And if we move over here to the green coconut, it's moving on us a little bit. And this one would kind of be cool for, I don't know, maybe Halloween. It does look like slime. Probably the one that's got the best show, but it definitely doesn't look like something that you want to bathe in.
The green is really, really kind of a neon green. I think the color's coming through pretty well on all of these through the camera. And the big sleep is, the colors are really, really pretty. The green is finally looking pretty cool. But you know, the bomb is just now. You see, the dark arts is almost gone. This one is just now, I would say, about half gone. So it's just now giving out some good color. The big sleep. It's really doing some cool bath art over here. So I'm pretty sure the water's still gonna be black. That's really, really pretty. So I'm still not crazy about dipping into this texture, but from what I hear, it's gonna feel like a day at the spa on my skin. So I'm thinking that's looking pretty cool. I think I like the idea. Having three in there at once. For demo purposes, obviously. I think it might be time to go ahead and check out the tar pit, the texture of the tar pit. So let me go ahead and switch my hands and get just one hand on the phone. Hang on one sec. Okay, so we've got the other two just still foaming out, fizzing out, sliming out, whatever you want to call it. And the dark arts is done. So before the jelly is just, you know, just fading away into the water, I guess we'll just go ahead and do what you're meant to do with it. Oh, oh, gross. Oh, my goodness. Mm. If you can hear that, it does feel like. Mm, like a thick batter. I don't know. I've never felt tar, but it is a very thick. A 
doesn't really feel good. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, another thing that's interesting is that these two don't look nearly as thick. Now, I could be wrong. Because until I pulled my hand out of the dark arts, it didn't feel as thick going in. But, so I'm interested to see if those feel as thick as the black one. Oh, my goodness. Now, you know, it's kind of pretty. But, okay, let me rinse this off and then I will check on these two over here. Try not to mix the colors. Hang on one sec. Okay, so just before we get into this one, that did not want to come off my hands. It's still a little stained and I scrubbed pretty good. I didn't use um, soap, but ew, mm -mm, I didn't like the way it came off my hands. So I'm pretty concerned about the way it's gonna come off my tub. So, um, so let's check this one out, the consistency. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, it's the same. It's, it's very, very thick. This is not appealing to me. Now, I mean, this might feel good on your skin. If you went to a spa and you weren't looking at it and they put it on your face and your face felt wonderful when you got out, this is not something that I desire to bathe in. Okay, this on the inside feels like a bath bomb. Now, I know that this is gonna be a super, super long video, and I'm just talking, 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 but you know what, I've never, I haven't seen anything like this where I've found this much information on it, so I don't know if, you know, this is interesting to you guys or not, but it's interesting to me because I just didn't know all this before. I've just kind of seen pretty little demos, but I haven't gotten this much information. Okay. Moving on, I'm not even gonna rinse my hand off for this one because I'm just not. Okay, um. Okay. Yeah, that's just, that's a bath bomb inside too. Okay, I'm just gonna let this one just go because I just don't wanna get that much mess on my hands still. This is what I'm gonna do, you guys. I am still not sure if I'm gonna run the jets in my tub because I just don't know if that's a good idea um, given this texture and given this color. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit for a while because what I understand is that this jelly dissipates, disappears in the water and it goes away. So I'm gonna kind of judge that over a little bit of time and then, um, We'll come back because I don't honestly want to jump in this tub right now because I can get an idea of what this texture is like already. And I um, just don't really want to do that. I just wanted to demo this for you guys. Um, I will get in this bath, but not with this texture. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm weird. Um, so yeah, um, once this kind of goes away, then um, I'll probably show you guys again what it looks like, let you know if I'm gonna run the jets and um, Yes, yeah, so I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. That's some cool looking bath art. Still got some jelly sliminess going on <laughs> on the top, so I'm not quite ready to um, hop in yet because you know what? I think I might really, I'm gonna turn the jets on, I think. Um, like I said, go big or go home, right? And I think that y'all probably want to see that, and it might be a mistake on my part. But, um, yeah, I think I might go ahead and do that for you guys. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer until, you know, as much of that on the top is gone as possible. So um, just check back again in a few minutes. All right, so um, it's been about 30 minutes, and my lighting's playing some tricks on me. There you go. Um, the water is a really, really dark, dark green, and... Everything is kind of just dissolved in the water and it feels like really, really soft, moisturizing, just regular water. But I mean, it doesn't look really, really pretty or nice. And you'll love this. These were little pieces of, you can tell each one of those bombs, even though I did put three in there. I don't think that that had anything to do with the fact that I've got some little bits and pieces and residue. 
I had to kind of fish these parts out because I didn't think, and they're kind of little hard chunks. Um, I didn't feel like that they were gonna dissolve at all. And since I do think, I'll just go ahead and run my jets for you guys. Didn't want anything to kind of just get in there and clog anything up and, I don't know, be kind of gross. So, um, yes, this is my little goldfish net. You kind of just need some kind of net when you have a jetted tub to kind of get out anything that might come flying out of there when you turn on your jets or when you're cleaning it out, things like that. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this up and maybe dump it out and kind of dredge the bottom or whatever one more time and um, then I'll turn on the jets for you. Be right back. Alrighty, so I have just cleared out everything as much as I possibly could have out of the tub, any little floaty bits. And I ran just a little bit more warm water because it has been sitting so long. So if there's anything else in there that hasn't dissolved, hopefully it will. And I stirred it up a little bit more too. So fingers crossed, here goes nothing. Let's turn on the jets and see what the jelly bomb will do in my tub. Now, I wouldn't really expect it to do anything, but since the green coconut and the big sleep had obviously had some bath bomb in the center of it, I guess I'm really not surprised that it's bubbling up. I mean, that's really crazy. Wow. I, I would not have expected that though. Absolutely wouldn't have expected. And you know, it had the bath bomb um, part on the, around the outside, so wow. Oh, very interesting. I feel like this whole process has been like a science experiment. Wow. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's take a closer look. This is making some really interesting patterns. I don't ever see some very interesting, really weird looking lines in there. They almost look like little worms or something. I don't know. Okay, this is what it is. It's the glitter. It's the black glitter. That's what it is. Okay. Wow. Well, this just keeps getting more interesting. And it looks like the bubbles are really kind of building. Wow. Okay, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just totally interested now to take this back and, you know, report back to you guys. I mean, it's just very, very interesting to me now. Okay, well, you guys, I'm just going to take a quick shower and then I'm going to hop in and I'll just get back to you in a few minutes and let you know how it was. Wish me luck. <laughs> Whew, all right, so the marathon demo continues. Okay, this is what we have after the three jelly bombs in my tub. Okay, there is gonna be, it looks like a good bit of cleanup. Most of this is glitter. This is what I want to show you really closely. See those little hard bits? There's one there, there's one right there. There's several of those, and that is what I got out with my little net. Okay, so that being said, let me kind of go back to the beginning. Um, okay, first off, and there were just a lot of surprises in here um, with this bath for me, but then again, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, although I did have a few preconceived notions. When I put all of these um, bath bombs together, I really, really enjoyed the scent. I think maybe had I done just one you know, all of them individually, I may not have enjoyed one or two of the scents as much by themselves, but I think it reminded me kind of of the fall with the cinnamon leaf, and they were a little bit sweet. There was nothing floral about all these, at least combined. So I really, really enjoyed the scent, and I'm really picky about my scents, and especially my lush scents. So I really enjoyed the scent. Um, the jelly part. Um, personally, it's not my thing. I wouldn't have gotten into it if I hadn't let it all dissolve. I just don't think that I would have enjoyed it. Um, it was much, much 
thicker than I thought it would have been. Um, if I hadn't put them all in together, I don't think my opinion about that was skewed by putting them all in together because when I reached my hand into the dark arts, it was very, very thick. Um, just that one alone. So I just didn't like the consistency, but I, I thought that it was much thicker than I thought that it would have been. Um, let's see. As far as the way the tub looks right now, um, I kind of played with it a little bit just to kind of see if I thought it would clean up, um, it would take a lot to clean it up or not that much. I really don't think that it's going to take that much to clean up. Obviously, I'm going to have to get in there and scrub a little bit, but I honestly believe that I had a bigger mess with a monster's ball that I had and a bigger mess with Uluru. Uluru was just... I just, there's nothing about that bomb that I liked. Um, I had to scrub that twice, and a faint yellow ring around her tub is just not, it's just not, it's terrible. Um, so I think that I can get in there because there were so many kind of oils and um, it was so moisturizing, I think that it'll come off pretty well. Um, okay, so as far as the moisture level in this bath, it was really, really nice. But, having said that, I don't think it was anything to write home about as far as it being phenomenal. I did a demo with the Yellow Submarine and I cocktailed it with a Bright Side bubble bar and a Comforter bubble bar and I don't think that it was any more moisturizing than that. I thought that that was a wonderful bath and I thought that this was kind of on par with that one. And I've had um, as much of a moisturizing bath with other bath bomb cocktails or um, just it wasn't any more moisturizing than some other very moisturizing baths that I've had as well. So it wasn't out, it didn't blow me away. Um, so if you put that together with I think maybe the hassle I felt like it was as far as um, I didn't like the way the jelly didn't come off my hand when I tried to rinse it in the sink. I didn't like having to fish out the little hard bits. I don't like the mess it made in my tub and because I didn't like just personally the jelly consistency. I know that a lot of people probably will like that. And if that's your thing, then um, you probably will like this balm and every other little thing that comes with it may be worth it to you. But that is just my personal opinion and um, I think I may have covered everything. If I haven't, um, please feel free to um, leave in the comments any questions you might have or, um, you know, message me on Instagram, anything like that. Let me know if you had any jelly bombs and what you think. I know a lot of people really do like them and they're really cool um, to them and I know that um, they're probably going to be a big hit with the kids. I'm interested to see how long that the jelly bombs will last though and if they will be overall a big hit or possibly a miss. So, thank you guys so, so much for sticking around. I know this has been extremely long, but hopefully you will have learned something, found out some more information that possibly you didn't know. And um, I guess I will just see you back here next time. If you come back to watch some more demos, hopefully they will not be this long. So, um, thank you so much, you guys, and I will just see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, so in like my bathtub cleaning and all its glory, I'm going to add just one more quick thing after like my knees are sore and having to get in there and scrub all that out, even though I was expecting to have to do that and especially having to put, you know, putting three in there at once and that was my own choice. You know, I mentioned Uluru a second ago and I think that bothered me the most because there was just no reason that I should have had any kind of cleanup with that bath bomb. I mean, it was like a light orange or yellow color in the bath and there's just, that just didn't make any sense to me. So I just wasn't expecting to have to clean that up at all. Number two, um, even though this water was pretty much black or it could have been black if I just done the black one. So it was just a really dark greenish black and very glittery. I have had at least two black glittery bath bombs from indie companies and I did not have any cleanup. So I'm thinking, you know, and this one even claimed with a disclaimer that you probably have to have some cleanup. So I'm thinking, you know, should Lush get it together if my indie companies 
can figure out how to make a glittery black bath bomb and no cleanup. And I'm having to get in there and scrub <laughs> with my Lush Black bath bomb. It's just food for thought. So, um, yeah, I've kept you long enough. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.